What's up? How are you guys this weekend? If my hair uh, gets any longer, you guys aren't going to even be able to see the headphones. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, so this is a day of vegan high protein meals. And the main takeaway from this is going to be that an absence of animal protein in the diet will cause a poor body composition. And this applies to average people too, anyone following a standard American diet, a vegetarian diet, pretty much any diet that doesn't have at least like half a pound to three quarters of a pound of very high quality meat, you're not going to look good. You know, just incorporating half a pound of meat into your diet every day is going to increase your muscle mass. The body needs it to build the physical muscle cells. So when we see these vegans, even though they're following a high protein diet, if it's plant based, plant based, it doesn't matter. And, you know, not to be too rude, like she doesn't look bad, but I'm not going to say she looks good. Like the amount of muscle mass on her body, you know, she's not shredded fitness model. say like almost skinny fat like, like it, she just has so little muscle mass like <laughs> and if she's trying to work out and be active it's very difficult without the animal protein blended overnight oats it's not the usual blended overnight oats. There's actually silk and tofu in this one. So it's a high protein blended overnight oats. And I made this yesterday. So it has sat in the fridge all night. And it's just roll oats, silk and tofu, some plant milk, two days vanilla extract. <laughs> How disgusting is that, bro? Uh, it's oats, tofu, uh, either almond or soy milk, dates. Oh my God. I, I've never seen a vegan blend tofu into oats for breakfast and to say that like the protein from that is anything but estrogenic and gonna destroy like it's so bad some um, spices cardamom and cinnamon I think which is just blend up until everything is smooth and creamy and for the topping I made you know in general it's very difficult for food to be bad for you what causes poor diets is one lack of animal protein you know you don't have the b vitamins and the amino acids to deal with oxidative damage and stress from the poor quality foods and the other thing that causes bad diets is very high anti-nutrient and very high inflammatory foods which vegan diets typically tend to have so you know average person doesn't really have either of those so made like a chocolate bed. topping thing with some peanut butter cacao powder and agave syrup you can also use date syrup and also some plant milk stir that up and add that on top of the blended oats put that in the fridge and voila today we have this beautiful blended overnight oats and yeah so as usual vegans trying to make a dessert out of every meal and it wouldn't be that bad if it didn't have the tofu or the plant milk. Like if you just had a bowl of oats with a little bit of sweetener and some cacao on top, even some organic sugar or some honey maple syrup, that would be an okay breakfast accompanied with maybe some pork sausage, maybe some eggs, maybe some animal protein would be a healthy breakfast. But instead she opts for the plant proteins that are not bioavailable and also inflammatory whether you know, it's soy with a lot of estrogen or there's anti-nutrient or there's just chemical preservatives and flavorings to make these plant concoctions taste like actual food. Of course, you can add berries or any other toppings that you like. I thought it was a little bit funny and fancy and I like chocolate, so. Mm. Now let's try this one. Oh, the, the golden spoon, the irony. Should be eating caviar with the golden spoon. I have spoon. to take a photo before I'm digging into this one. For some reason, the mic didn't pick up 
what I said. But what I said was that you can't really taste that there's silken tofu in this one. And yeah, Isn't it a little dystopian? Like she's sitting outside, like her outfit is all white. The bowl is all white. She's got a golden spoon. It's like a beautiful setting, but it's almost like she's imprisoned, forced to eat this plant-based slop. If you're into chocolate, this one will hit the chiclets. Chiclet. <laughs> this one will hit the chocolate spot, I promise you. Also, super grateful that I can actually sit outside in October. And that's what I love about Spain, South Spain. <laughs> that you can sit outside late into the fall and still enjoy the sun without freezing. I don't know what she feeds the baby. Okay, time for some work. I'm actually working on <laughs> no! a new project that I won't tell you about yet, but very soon I will tell about it. And yeah, instead of another coffee, I'm drinking AG1, which is today's sponsor. If you've seen my previous videos, you have... If I talk any more crap about AG1, is like a big green man going to show up to my door and just crunch me into a basketball? <laughs> What's interesting to me about AG1 specifically is it's such an evident like demonstration of how much control these big corporations have over social media and the influence they have, just their ability to sell a health product that isn't actually healthy. And, and I mean, that can be said about a lot of products on the supplement market and in general, but it's just really strange to me. I think I even did a video uh, analyzing the list of ingredients in this and explaining why it's not good for you. It's just, to me, it's crazy how large Athletic Greens is, how many sponsorships they have, how people are just shoving this down everyone's throat, and it's not actually good for you. If she was holding an egg in her hand, just like even a conventional crappy chicken egg, it would at least offer some semblance of nutrition and be healthier than something like this. It's just mind boggling to me, mind boggling how these supplement companies are selling you snake oil at crazy prices. And then you have legitimate small businesses trying to help people that don't make any money, don't make any sales because they're, they control all the social media algorithms. So we're going to skip your sponsorship. It has micronutrient. I can't even do it. I can't do it. I can't do accents, guys. I'm very bad with accents, but if I these uh, Nordic accents tend to sound a little funny. Micronutrients. Essential symbiotics. And I really like AG1 because it's easy and convenient instead of taking force for by the body. And it's free one year and they ship worldwide. And yeah. You know what's funny? All this stuff. Made in a TGA registered facility. Made in New Zealand. NSE certified sport. <laughs> you can make supplements in your basement. It's not FDA regulated. Supplements are not FDA regulated. You can go buy any ingredients you want from any supplier. Most of the stuff is made in China. And make stuff in your basement. Get fancy packaging. That's how the supplement industry is. It's, it's kind of funny. The link is also down below, so you can click in the description. She's in Spain. She's in Spain, probably because her vegan diet does not allow her to tolerate the normal weather of her ancestry. You know what's funny about this vegan stuff is generally like their peers and family and stuff view them as like weird and outliers and like they, they always shy away from their cultural food and stuff. Chickpeas, tofu, red onion, hummus. She's adding hummus to chickpeas. Isn't that the point? Of, isn't chickpeas hummus? Lemon juice, curry powder, maple syrup, salt. It's, I mean, putting tofu in everything and saying you're following a high protein vegan diet, but you still have like a poor body composition is 
is evidence of the invalidity of the diet. And this probably tastes disgusting. It cannot, it cannot taste good. There, there is no fat. There's no like high quality. Even if you put oil in there, just some oil would make it taste a lot better. Vegans are really evolving. Yo, bro, can I put some hummus on your hummus? If you guys don't know, hummus is made of chickpeas, garbanzo beans. She just put like three pounds of chickpeas in the container and then put more chickpea puree on top of it. So to say that uh, vegans are restricting themselves with limited food choices is a bit of an understatement. So it's so bad for you. Lovely, lovely. I've been so excited to eat this the whole time. I've been cooking this. Mm. A lot of the times they make things that, you know, are acceptable as side dishes, you know, accompanied with meat, but they have to add all these spices and flavorings, sometimes chemicals, inflammatory oils, just turn like a regular potato or some regular hummus. You know, hummus is usually made with just olive oil, sometimes a little salt, sometimes a few spices here and there, but they increase the anti-nutrient content so much and make it so inflammatory because the food is not satisfying them as there's no meat in it so how do you do family hey hey can you drink ya hey hey I'm gonna bring myself a snack. I made this yesterday, and so it's just chickpeas, tahini, oh oat flour, <laughs> plant milk, this some girl. maple syrup, vanilla extract, and some vegan chocolate chips. What's the deal? Does Spain only have five vegan ingredients in their grocery store? They got oats, chickpeas, chocolate, and tofu. And what, soy milk? Are those the only five vegan ingredients you can find in the Spanish supermarket? Is that why you had to make cookie bars from from chickpeas? I wonder if she put tofu in there too. Did she? I don't see the full ingredient list. It's funny because like almost all of her meals that she showed us have the same ingredients in them. And then I also made a small batch for Alina without the um, no. maple and without the chocolate the kids vegan. chips. They We've looked lost prettier another. yesterday, but they're still very, very yummy. So I'm gonna have two of these. Um, yeah, there's a nice amount of protein. How much intelligence does it take to understand that, you know, the body has very complex metabolic processes and doesn't digest things from a macronutrient perspective, it's much deeper than that. It's much deeper than the macronutrients. You know, you go down to the cellular level of, of what the food's composed of. So I like vegans are almost as bad as these like, if it fits your macros, macronutrient warriors. Like, okay, if that was true, well, can't, can't they all go vegan protein sources and get the same results? No, they can't. When I say lasagna, you probably think that's a lot of work, but no, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to show you my favorite vegan lasagna. Well, considering you probably spent, you know, four out of the five hours of your day in the kitchen and filming your sponsorship, I'd say it's not a stretch to make lasagna. Yeah, and yeah. First thing we want to do is to boil some. To the vegan overlords watching this, you guys need more Hitomi's. Honestly, just get some smoke show girls with these giant estrogenic racks and just like 
no bra it in the videos and you will be i'm not joking i am not joking you will be converting guys to veganism like I, I they should put me in charge of the vegan diet because i would have these like as i said giant racked estrogen estrogenized vegan girls and i would have them saying stuff like hey guys send me pictures of your vegan meals and i'll respond to you in my instagram dms bro i'm i'm telling you you have no idea how much money i would have a vegan empire dude i would have all these broccoli headed teen kids just like sucking down tofu every blended into every meal like these girls bro i'm telling you i'm telling you they're not they're not playing their cards right cashew nuts and some cauliflower the cauliflower will take the creaminess to the next level and the cashew nuts will add all right, i'm not awake protein. enough to but as I do the act, the way she pronounces some of this stuff, cauliflower and cashew, it's a little funny. Um, speaking of cauliflower, we have the giardiniera available on Frankie's Shoe Range Foods, which is a fermented cauliflower with a few other things in there. So I'm a fan of cauliflower. Cashews, pretty inflammatory. Not the worst, not the best. Somewhere in the middle. This lasagna I'm adding tempeh to make things easier. I'm Lovely. using the one that's already very appetizing. Marinated. Very appetizing. You know what's funny? It looks almost like brains, which is ironic considering animal brains might be one of the most nutritious foods, and this is the least nutritious. So this is another soy product. So I'm just gonna crumble it down into the lasagna. Bro, if you gave a, a young boy this diet, he would have tits before the teenage girls in middle school. Like, I didn't see what that was. Was that like some type of pasta she put in there? some type of lentils well, I mean this is not lasagna but nutritional yeast almond milk oil we did a whole video I think on nutritional yeast a few years ago I think we've also done videos on these plant milks and why they're bad for you and we've done videos on vegetable cereal so if you guys really want an in-depth scientific explanation on why these foods are so bad for you it's available yeah. the child as as actually this is actually a, a six-year-old child on a vegan diet that's what happens i'm, I'm joking guys <laughs> imagine your, your child just doesn't grow if he's vegan he just stays same size. Creamy, creamy. She keeps feeding that kid these foods. Might, might be the truth. So almost everything she's had today, you notice she's adding a lot of spices to it. You know, the liver will store that carotenoids, flavonoids, etc., and needs other nutrients to counter it like fat soluble vitamins d and k2 but vegans aren't getting those so the, the similarities between a vegan diet and a carnivore diet is that they can both destroy your liver if certain food choices are made they have used a lot of spices and eat a lot of vegetables and very colorful foods on vegan diets it's very bad for your liver I mean, it's just it's just vegetables between pasta sheets. You know, lasagna is is tomato, cheese, and meat. Like, I don't know why. They, and then she blended up uh, the cashews with the cauliflower and uh, to try to make some makeshift bechamel. You know, at least actual lasagna would have a lot of animal nutrition in it. And 
here's the mini <laughs> lasagna for Alina. So cute. With no salt. We spoke about it last week. Kids are supposed to be breastfed for like two, three years minimum. E even a, a regular baby formula would be so much healthier than any sort of vegan nonsense. I just feel bad for these kids, you know. It's it's kind of strange that, you know, parents are able to, I guess, for lack of their nutritional knowledge and understanding, parents are able to permanently affect the physical development of their children with lack of knowledge, which is is really because of of the people that control all the media and business and tell you what's healthy versus not healthy. But it doesn't seem like everyone is given anything close to a uh, a fair playing field. This both smells so good and looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat this. Yeah, you would think her biceps would have grown looking like Popeye right now, but Isn't it apparently not. They didn't really pick a good night for showing you the sounds, but usually there are so many birds and nature sounds here. Not tonight. And I There's love a... to stand here. Like She's got like antennas right on the building. You guys see those? Those are just satellites, I think. Still not good. And I love just standing here like in the evenings watching the sunset. Very much. It is interesting that like for some reason all these young vegan girls are able to just travel and, and probably spend thousands and thousands of dollars in rent on these apartments. Probably from their income by deceiving people into what they shouldn't be eating. Yeah, she's, she's been snacking on these like calorically dense things that she makes that have a lot of sugar and, and fat, uh, probably because she doesn't have a lot of actual grains in her meals, which are, you know, one of the few things that vegans can eat that actually have caloric density. Instead, she's trying to make everything healthy, or at least what she thinks is healthy by blending up tofu with beans in every meal. Well, this is this is pretty horrible. Yeah, I don't know. I think every meal she ate had tofu and chickpeas in it. Uh, what a lucky baby Alina is to be growing up with a mom who's feeding her on such super. Oh yeah, we got. It. How much did she have to pay this person? Oh no. Wow, I'm so impressed that it's all whole foods. Most of the time, you click high protein vegan, and it's all protein. What do you mean? This is so ridiculous. High protein is the ever needed theme in the vegan realm. Those new recipes are yummy to the max. Keep it up, your videos are bro. Who, who got bro, there's no way these are real comments. There's no way. Hi Alexandra, I'm a new subscriber and came across your channel while searching for high protein vegan recipes. I am definitely going to try the blended oatmeal recipe. It looks incredible. Also, I'm a little biased, but I love your baby's name. There aren't too many Alina's. Bro, how is that a real comment? This is like boot licking. Oh my. Uh. Ooh, I just made the protein oats from your app. They're in the fridge ready for my breakfast tomorrow. I'm loving the app, by the way. I make your recipes all the time and really enjoy them. This is so funny. It's like, imagine like I make a video like, and I have like a new phone app. And all the comments are, oh my God, your app is so great. I love your app. Like no, a real person would never actually say that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, all right. This is, this is, um, this is definitely some type of selection bias or someone's getting a paycheck. <laughs> I totally want to try AG1. <laughs> the lasagna looks good. All right. All right. I've had enough of reading these comments. Thank you guys for joining. Um, hopefully the big green man, the Hulk or something doesn't like break down my house this weekend. Maybe I've talked too much trash, but you guys can check out frank for all of my interesting businesses and unique and creative ideas.
We do have vegan options for you guys. Any vegans? We have Tatomi's very vegan cookie bars on the foods website, as well as many other choices that fit into your dietary restrictions. I wonder, I wonder if any vegans actually buy from me. Anyway, check out frank com, guys. But as always, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. I'll see you guys soon.